a big part of our lives, our happiness is being found at a ball game, watching our kid, and watching other kids play sports. We kind of just adopt the kids on the team. If there's a need out there, we just, Leah and I try to step in and, and fill that for the girls. If you need a glove, we, we're gonna find you a glove. If, if you need helmets, we're, we'll, we'll get the helmets. Whether it gets team drinks or feed everybody before they leave the ballpark or whatever, we, we try to be that parent for the, for the team and to treat the girls with the same respect and the same way we treat our daughter. Scott Mayfield was born and raised in New Bern, Tennessee, but he lived for several years with his wife Leah and daughter Brooklyn on the Mississippi Gulf Coast until 2005 when Hurricane Katrina struck. Our plans were to drive towards West Tennessee and as the storm went into Louisiana, turn around and come home. Um, we, we didn't do a whole lot as far as packing. Uh, Leah grabbed a suitcase, um, change of clothes, and Brooklyn's pictures and, and her baby stuff. He came through that with everything that was important to him. Rather than losing everything, which he did, he lost the material possessions. His statement is, to this day, I came through it with everything that was important to me, my family. We were healthy and we were together Therefore, everything else is just stuff. In 2006, Scott joined the region's team in Dyersburg, Tennessee, where he has since gone on to attain Chairman's Club honors as a mortgage loan originator. When a customer walks in the door, I try to, I try to envision myself sitting in their shoes. Um, they, they're there for help. They're there for guidance whether it be, you know, a veteran or just a single mom trying to find, find their house for her and a kid. I treat everyone like it was me on the other side of the table, like I would want to be treated. He has a heart of gold. Scott will do anything for anybody. He's one of those people that whenever he sees a need, he just meets the need. He's not in it for the money, and he's not in it for the notoriety. He's in it for the service uh, to his clients, for the betterment of his community, and, and uh, he's just a guy with a big heart who's, uh, who wants more than, than just a paycheck out of a job. He's trying to give back in every way that he can. And at no time is Scott more passionate about his work than when he is able to help U.S. military veterans. Thank you for my freedom. Appreciate what you did. And, People and, and that have served in the military that have defended our country is just something that's close to his heart. You know, he's got a child, he's got a wife, and just knowing that there are people out there who put their lives on the line every day um, to grant us the privileges that we have is something that's just very respectful to him and that he, you know, at the end of the day when they buy a house from him and they're saying thank you, he will tell them no, thank you for what you've done that he just, you know, he was just doing his job. They actually went above and beyond, and that's something that he really respects. One of the veterans that we had that um, was diagnosed with lung cancer uh, due to him being in Vietnam, exposed to Agent Orange, um, getting with Mr. Sky was able to get his house refinanced, and over time, as his health deteriorated, um, his, Mr. John, which was the veteran's name, he was, um, his wife was going to be left at home by herself, and Mr. John wanted to make sure that his wife wouldn't be homeless. Mr. Scott was able to assure Mr. John that when he died, because there was no doubt he was going to die in the hospital, that everything would be taken care of. It was fascinating about it. It's prior to Mr. John dying that weekend, with all his family there, his friends there, his pastor there, he told everybody else to get out of the room. He wants to talk to Mr. Scott. He wanted to leave this world in peace, knowing his wife would be taken care of. Those are the ones that are life-changing most of the time. And um, they're the ones that, that really touch your heart, really touch your heart. We're blessed to work for a company that truly lives their values, to focus on the customer, put people first. 
this mink does have. We're blessed to, to have the tools to really change lives, to really make a difference.